welcome to the third installment of our Sure Cuts A Lot 2 video overview. And let's just dive right in. Let's take a look at this tools menu here. And with the selection tool selected in the properties box, you'll notice that you've got some options here. And you'll also notice that depending on which tool you have selected, there'll be some different options in this properties window, okay? So when I click on the text tool, I get a, uh, an entire panel dedicated to manipulating text. Okay, so this changes when you click on the selection tool and with the selection tool selected, you can go in here and you can change your mat size. Okay, you've got the three mat sizes there. You can also do that under the cutter option and here's the mat size as well. But it looks like the only place you can change the orientation and the units is actually in this box here with the selection tool selected. Okay, so you can actually change the orientation of your mat from horizontal to vertical. And that's great, especially if you have your cricket positioned in a way where you feed it vertically. And it's just going to help, you know, help you visualize the layout of all your shapes and elements a, a lot better. You don't have to kind of, you know, rotate it in your head. It's just going to make it a lot easier for you. Uh, you can also change it from inches to centimeters. And you can zoom in or zoom out from this little option here. Okay. And uh, as we mentioned in the previous video, there's also a section here to manipulate the page information. So you can actually, instead of going in and going to page and page properties, this window here that just came up as a result of that is a, the exact same thing you'll see here. Okay, so if we go in here and we just call this birthday card and hit enter, and you can see that it changed the name here. Okay, and if you go to page and page properties, you can see it changed there. Now let me just change the color in here to green. Hit OK, hit OK, and you can see that it changed it there. So there's just a few different ways to access the same thing. Okay, and basically that's pretty much it for, for this window here um, with the selection tool selected. So let's take a look at the type tool. Okay, when we have that selected, you'll notice all these different options and the first option is view and it basically allows you to select which fonts you want to view there's three options there's all fonts there's favorite fonts and fonts from this project okay well we don't have any we haven't used any fonts yet in this project so there's nothing in this list um, favorites this is really cool let's say that you have five or six fonts that you just love Okay, well what you can do, let's start under all, and let's just say, and if you know me, you know that I'm just a, a nutball when it comes to Halloween. So I've got a lot of Halloween fonts, but not all of them are really cool, and let's say that I find one that I really love, and let's say it's Blood Feast. Okay, I can actually add it to my favorite font list. Okay, so I'm going to click on this heart. Okay, and it just it went ahead and added it, and now if I click on this drop down and go under favorites, it shows it there okay so I, I'm not sure that there's a limit to how many you can have because obviously I haven't really added that many but let's uh, let's see we can go under all again and let's find another one doesn't matter which one it is let's do creeper and let's add it to my favorite list and then go down to favorites okay now I've got two fonts in there so this is really cool really cool uh, huge time saver I you know I can't imagine how many times you you've you've gone through your list trying to find that one file and all you really need is two or three you know so and also let's go back to all and let's just select another font let's select cyber monkey let's grab the text tool and I'm just gonna put down some text here I'm just gonna write test and now because I've, I've actually used that font in this project, if I go under view and this project, CyberMonkey is now in the list. So that's great too, especially if you go in and you save this as a SCUT file, it's going to remember that we use that font. And if you want to use it again to create another caption, weld something else, you've got it right there and it's ready to go. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put down some text here. Okay, and I'm just going to write the word test. And basically, in order to use any of these features over here, we need to make sure that we highlight the letters that we want to actually select. So what I'm doing is I'm clicking, holding, and dragging 
to select this text and you'll notice that it has a small little dotted line around it that indicates that that we are actually trying to manipulate that word okay so I'm gonna click over here just to the right of the T and I'm gonna just click and drag and as you can see it's highlighted okay so we can increase the text size the width and the tracking which is the distance between each letter and the vertical offset which is basically the uh, offset from the baseline of of the actual word so let's say that at zero inches this here is the baseline and we can just inch it up so technically I think it's very similar to uh, just moving it uh, but uh, it's just a, an option in here so anyway you've also got a rotate option and I'm gonna actually just uh, click on this again okay and you can rotate and we can just type in 90 degrees okay so that actually individually rotates each letter we got 180 that's upside down now okay 270 and then 360 which pretty much bring us back to zero okay and then you can also skew and let's just go 180 degrees and 90 okay well that didn't that doesn't look very good All right, well, you get the idea. Um, basically, you've got all your options here, and you need to make sure that the letters are actually highlighted when you work with them. Okay, so with that said, another little tidbit I want to show you here is when you have this selected, go ahead and move it. You can rotate it by clicking on this, on this little rotate handle here. Okay, and you'll notice how smooth it moves. Well, let's just let's say that you want to move it at, at a certain interval. If you click down and hold down your shift key and move this, it will actually it looks like it moves at about I would say almost like 15 or 30 degree increments, probably a 15 degree increment. I'm holding down shift as I move this around and you'll see that it if I let go of shift, you see how it moves? If I hold down shift, it actually is a little bit more precise in that it's it's more of an exact value where this is you know this is like one degree two degrees three degrees four five six seven eight nine well this is more you know fifteen thirty forty five sixty so on and so forth so it's actually less I think it's maybe ten degrees ten twenty thirty forty fifty sixty yeah okay so it moves it by ten degrees basically um, so that's a pretty cool feature and once again that's just you hold down shift before you click this little handle here to rotate it okay as far as the text tool goes, that pretty much really covers it. Um, so that's going to that's gonna finish up this tutorial, and we'll see you at the next one.